Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episodes 36 and 37 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 36 in 3, 2, 1, go. It was a little too quiet. Yeah, where's your nose? I mean, oh, okay, speak of the devil. <laughs> Girl, I can't either. <laughs> yeah, you just do your best. That just reminds me of, <laughs> okay, so this was like the worst thing about, um, my middle school experience, especially in Nebraska. I don't know if everybody had to do this specifically in middle school. Probably you had to do this as well in high school. Um, a mile run. Mm -hmm. And so... I, my two years in middle school, I had to do it. Didn't really have to do it in, um, high school because, I don't know, like, I only, okay, because typically the smart thing is, you know, especially when you go into high school, you kind of want to do health and PE your first year so that your second, third, and fourth, especially your final year, you don't have to worry about that. And so I knew a friend, I had a friend who didn't do uh <laughs> health or fitness their uh freshman their junior or um their sophomore years and so their final senior year they had to do it and they were like i should have did this my a couple years ago and i was like yeah because it's a lot smarter so then you ain't got to worry about it but yeah doing a mile run or hell even a 4k run i i can't imagine a 4k run a mile run that's okay that's just running around four times on that track Yeah, because unfortunately you've been failing and failing and failing. So why should he really do anything for you? Yeah, you know what what's her face used and that, you know, ended her. Oh, you're really that desperate, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because you know something might happen to you. Do we really want that? See, like, this kind of reminds me with, um, specifically, like, Hagato, especially with, like, some of the villains in that, and you can see how some of them are very 
kind of similar to these fellas as well, because you're like, oh shit, like, oh. God, I'd be like, <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> That's me. Straight up, like. <laughs> I know, baby. You know, no, to me, it's just a hard worker when it comes to pretty care. <sighs> Let's hope so. But you need to make sure you get a lot of rest. Mm -hmm. It's too late. You're already doing it. Even Komachi. We ain't the best runner, but we still doing it. <laughs> Aww. Because it's a group effort. <laughs> and just remember go at a certain pace your own pace it doesn't matter how long it takes you to run a 4k And sometimes you can start by walking and then eventually pushing yourself by running or just jogging. Come on, you can do it.
That's good sportsmanship. <laughs> you, you don't remember that? Are you sure though? Yeah, she got a little ways to go. Poor baby. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was just going to go automatically use the black card. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait.
she used up all her energy while running. Oh. That's not true. It's the participation of it. Do we think he would use the black card now? But, like, I mean, we're 16 minutes into this episode. Yeah. You see a milk heart, she's like, yes, it is almost time for me to be a pretty here. Not now, but it's coming. <laughs>
sky that's still beautiful. Yeah, but you know, you still did good though. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was me, honey. That's okay. He did good. Knows me did good. I mean, hey, as someone who, like I said, I'm not a girl who likes to run. Like I said, I, I, I hated, hated um, my mile run. Really, I also, the, another reason why I'm not the best at running is because I have asthma. And so that is also my hindering. But even if I really try to push myself, I will end up having an asthma attack, which almost happened during, I think, my ni my eighth grade year. And I really needed my inhaler and my, um, I had two gym teachers, male and a female. And the female w told me, no. So because of her, I almost had an asthma attack. So mm -hmm. be in mind, teachers of the world, specifically gym teachers. If your student is almost going to have a freaking asthma attack, please let them go get their inhaler. Do not be like, no, because in the end, you look like an a-hole. And that you don't care about kids who were possibly, has like a medical condition or something. But, mm. but long story short, Nosamine, you did good. And I'm proud of her. I mean, she stuck to it to the end. I mean, normally if it's like anybody else... First, you know, when the, when the time, when the going gets hard, we quit. <laughs> we quit. That is what any guy, girl, whoever, especially when it comes to, like, any type of physical exercise when you're doing it for the very first time. But, whoo, Jesus. Which is true. If energy could burn fat, I think we would all be <laughs> really, truly. I, I mean, that is like, let's be honest. If energy, energy and laughter, because your girl laughs way too freaking much. Um, <laughs> if laughter, because they say laughter is the best medicine. If laughter could get you to lose weight, <laughs> your girl would be skinny. That's probably like... I would be hella skinny, let's just say that. But I think the another thing about like what society has kind of placed on um my generation and even generations before me. I mean not before well, before me and after me, especially what um like Hollywood, um, people who we look up to, idolize, whatever, and it's like that, and you see them as skinny it's like, okay, that is the healthiest thing of what me as a woman or me as a man, whoever, is supposed to look like and such. And so it, it's sad when it is, even till now, because especially with like eating disorders and everything, um, 
with what truly is going on with the world and such. And it and it's worse mainly also because of social media. Um cuz social media plays even now a big big heavy toll on teenagers, young girls, young boys and kind of really also in a way young adults. Even sometimes for me at the age that I am at. <laughs> woo cuz I don't get like a lot of comments on, you know, my appearance, my face and everything, but I think especially when um I think when Heavy Dumbbell came out and, and such and when that was like the very first anime in a while where it was like, oh, stuff about working out and everything. And it made me want to go work out again because I, as someone like, I, like I said, I hate running because my asthma, um, when I'm doing Zumba with my mom, I feel embarrassed that I'm going to get the dances right. I mean, not right, wrong. I am a person who likes to go walking and bike riding and it's like that since I just recently got a bike. Um, but having used it because I've been busy and it's like that. But yeah, I mean, the one thing that I, it, it's it's sad with social media and stuff because of the fact is, you know, you look at like TikTok for an example, um, and especially with any video that pops up of the difference between an overweight world, an overweight girl, and a skinny maybe curvy s girl, and they're both doing like the same type of pose. One will get a lot of praise for it, while the other will get a lot of hinder for it. And so, but they're doing the same thing. But there is a demeanor or a separation between the fact is, okay, looking your best and not looking your best. And it's still like that till this day. And it really, truly is sad. And so it's just really hard as someone who... <laughs> Almost, by, by next year by next year it'll be a whole year since I've been uh, been vegan and such and I have lost like not the best amount of weight because I still have to do exercise and everything but I try to go on walks as much as I can um, but because you know mainly because I got my damn dog so I took my dog out as much as I can and it's like that but it's always about really eating healthy eating smaller and it's like that and so many other things and making sure you also get enough sleep <laughs> as well. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 37. Okay, episode 37 and 3, 2, 1, go. I'm pull my sleeves up. Oh god, okay, two. Three. <laughs> oh. Okay, go ahead. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> was like, oh my god, B.O. B <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> but I know. Look at his stomach. Mm. <laughs> Cause Nets was like, eh. <laughs> I eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
See, only oh, da, da. <laughs> no, so you be like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> exactly. You have to balance. You can't always eat anything and everything sweet every single day. baby <laughs> you know the episode in our high school host club for honey <laughs> got a cavity <laughs> this is like that but worse <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, you know, pumpkin spice latte. Have not had one in, uh, uh, yet since the start. And I would, uh, you know what? In, in the so many years that pumpkin spice latte has been out in Starbucks, I've never really truly really had one. Um, it's just because, you know, sometimes Starbucks can be a little expensive. Not all the time, but sometimes. You'd be like, mm, don't feel like going to go get it. No. <laughs> Shouldn't that be the same for nuts? Well, because he works out. Exactly. Oh, sneak down. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but everybody does that, though. Like, truly. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, you poor baby.
Exactly. Yeah. It's like if you took just candy or anything sweet from a child. Or if your favorite food was pizza. Oh my god, I can't imagine pizza. Cause I love pizza. Pizza's so freaking good. No, no, Milky. Don't say that. Oh, God. Mm hmm. They say the peel is the most healthiest besides the apple itself. Wouldn't that be, like, a little too salty? Right? Don't try again. Which is right. You smell something sweet? Cream puff? <laughs> Do you even have money? I really wouldn't want yours.
swallow is pure ASMR. <laughs> Yeah, even for him, you know. Oh, baby. Unfortunately, there's got to be a way that you can break the window to get Coco out and then attack her. Yeah, because he wanted cream puffs that bad. But you stopped yourself, though.
from my she'll catch you. Oh, baby. No, it's okay. She'll always catch you. And they look good, though. Good, yeah, because you might like it. I mean, damn. <laughs> Are you sure you're not going to eat some milk? You know, why don't you put the plate down real quick? <laughs> and, and you know what it happens to all of us there you know what it, it this is the one thing that I've kind of learned in the 27 years of my life is to not like okay it is okay to have sugary sweets anything that you are craving like once you know every few like blue moon whatever but if you want it all the time, you make sure you have it in moderation. As someone who loves, like, God, Oreos, um, depending on what they are. So it could be because, like, I have, like, a Nutella-flavored one. And then I have, like, the Halloween-flavored one in my room. In my, not in my room. In my kitchen. But, as so, as, like, as a person who likes almost, like, anything sweet, and we can say that for almost, like, everybody as well, um... 
we will eat a lot of things. We'll eat it all, and the next thing you know, we'll feel guilty about it, but then we'll be like, fuck it, you know, you go back and get some more, and you'll be like, whatever. It, it's about eating, like, that calorie count. So, like, let's say you're getting, like, some chips or whatever, or even, like, a thing of cookies, and they say, okay, you're only supposed to have four or six, then that's fine. But then, you know, some people, we go back for, like, six more, or, like, we can all agree that during the pandemic, even now that when we got food after we ate we were still hungry and we went back to go get something else and such and so a lot of people were depressed last year about the fact that they gained like a lot of weight and such um as someone who has a mother who is a diabetic it, it's even harder because it's a lot of things that I'm gonna hear from her and I'm like, I can't eat almost like the same things that I want to eat. Like, I will still occasionally eat like something fried. Um, but in my opinion, I like things that are baked and air fried rather than completely, <laughs> completely fried. Like, okay, if I, okay. So I haven't had a McDonald's hamburger and about, or a cheeseburger and everything in, in about probably, um, more than like about more than six months and, and that's like hella strange to maybe like a lot of people at first it was kind of strange to me because now if I go to McDonald's like even if I go to Walmart and we have McDonald's in our Walmart and such if I want something from McDonald's I will either go get me like a large fry a couple of side things and then I'll be good on that I can eat that and then I can be hella okay with it because I haven't eaten meat um since the one last day I had a uh, fried shrimp um, with chicken and watched this movie on Netflix called What the Health um, and then seeing the truth about our food and this is that and the third uh, and then because of that my mom instantly wanted to be a vegan and she ordered like cookbooks and everything. Um, like, just recently, my mom, like, she, she's she been good for a really long time, and then she was like, you know what, I want to have meat for the first time. Just to kind of see, like, what the taste could be coming back from being a vegetarian or even a vegan for a certain amount of months, and then coming back to it and seeing if it tastes the same. So for, I think, almost a whole week, or maybe even, like, two or three days, she bought, she ate nothing but um, fried chicken from Publix. And so we went to, we went the following week and I think we, we were going to Disney at that time and such. Um, so it was just like a couple of weeks ago and I asked her, I was like, oh, okay, like when we go to Disney, like what the heck are you going to eat at Disney and such? Because I was curious as well. I was like, what the hell am I going to eat at freaking Disney? Because I was like, ugh. Because I had done like a lot of research and everything, but I asked her, I was like, yeah, are you going to eat chicken? Do you still want chicken? Are you craving, um that chicken taste and she was like honestly after eating it for a couple of days and getting into next week she was like no and for me like when I go into a restaurant whether it is where I'm sitting down or even a fast food restaurant restaurant or if I go into a Publix to go get my sub or my wrap and I like smell the, the uh, I smell the chicken cooking um it doesn't, it, like, I, I don't like the smell of it anymore. And, and it's really weird to me. And so I feel like, because I haven't told my dad this um, either, but I feel like the next time, like, me and my dad hang out and it's, I feel like he's probably going to be like, okay, where do you want to go? And I'm gonna be like, okay, can we go here? And then we go here, and then I'm like, hey, can I have this? And then he's probably going to ask me and such. But it, it's so funny that, like, even things that you used to eat, you're not always going to be in love with. Like, I remember... Um, I used to love drinking, uh, they were, they were the Kool-Aid jammers. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, growing up, I used to like the wild cherry flavor. And then one random day I had it and it tasted like medicine to me, like pure, like, you know, when you have like Pepto-Bismol or any type of cherry flavored medicine, type ish and where you know it's like hey it's supposed to taste like cherry but it doesn't taste like cherry it tastes like cherry medicine-y and I was drinking one and I, I was like Ugh. like no and so now I think I I cannot have any like artificial type cherry flavoring with specifically drink wise like if it's like 
this, like a sparkling water or like flavored water-ish, I can drink that and I'm fine. But if it's something like a Kool-Aid jammer or if it's a cherry flavored juice or whatever, like I might just be like, because it, it just, it's not that good to me. It's the same thing of like, okay, I had a friend who loved eating the crap out of um, Almond Joy. When she, said, uh, when she was growing up. She hates the taste of Almond Joy. You can like things that you loved as a little kid. And then like when you're in a, a like early teens, adult, young adult, whatever. You despise that. Because your taste buds change so much. And such. But it's always about, once again, eating in moderation. And also taking care of yourself. Sleeping well. Sleeping your eight hours and stuff. Whether you get seven to eight hours or you get three hours. You're still going to be tired as fuck when you wake up. Trust me. Um... And also working out at the same time so that you can be healthy at the end of the day. Because that's what you not only want for yourself, but what your family wants for you. And even if they're sometimes being a little, like, tough love on you, just know at the end of the day they're doing it because they love you so much. And because they want to see you succeed in anything that you want to do. And especially being healthy at, you know your age and such but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 36 and 37 of yes pretty cure 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the bachelor squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 38 and 39 bye guys